Carlos, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Just, just to start off, what's the difference between an exercise physiologist and a strength and conditioning coach? So I would say an exercise physiologist um, would involve just a different population, really, um, for, the, for the majority of the part. Um, not that Felix or a strength and conditioning coach wouldn't deal with the people I deal with, but um, it's a little different as far as intensity most of the time, the type of training really. Um, but the, the subtle differences would uh, just be population or demographics maybe, but we do you know, similar styles of, of training. We both have to program for, for, our, for our clients or our athletes, right? We have to see their demands, we have to assess them, right? So very similar and subtle differences, I would say. Uh, that's great. Let's get into some of the different ways of strength training. First of all, there are isolation workouts and compound workouts. What's the difference between the two? So, sure. Um, so what we're looking at is uh, an isolation workout is a single joint type of workout. So you think about a bicep curl, right? Or a leg extension, right? You're, you're really focusing on, on one muscle group and um, one joint movement, right? And then when you think about compound exercise, you think about multi-joint exercises. So you're using multiple joints, you're using more uh, muscles, bigger muscles primarily. So a squat is a good example of a multi-joint exercise. You have deadlifts, you have a, a push-up, things like that. So.